The Levant is an approximate historical geographical term which refers to a large area in the eastern Mediterranean. In its widest historical sense, the Levant included all of the eastern Mediterranean with its islands, and that is it included all of the countries along the eastern Mediterranean shore, extending from Greece to Cyrene in modern-day Libya. And the term Levant comes from the Italian word Levante, meaning rising, implying the rising of the sun in the east. Today the term usually refers to Syria, the Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and the Sinai Peninsula. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to include Egypt. At the time of the making of this video, both major factions in the civil war in Syria have their very own flag. The first flag we're going to look at is the flag of the Syrian Arab Republic. The flag of the Syrian Arab Republic consists of three colours of red, white and black, with two green, five-pointed stars. The colours of the flag make up the pan-Arab colours. Each colour in the Syrian flag refers to a definite meaning or a period as follows. The red colour represents the blood of the martyrs. The black colour represents the Abbasids. The white colour represents the Umid. The green represents the Rashtun or the Fatimid. The two stars represent the previous union between Egypt and Syria. The current flag was first adopted in 1958 to represent Syria as part of the United Arab Republic, and it was used until 1961 before being readopted in 1980. Although Syria is not part of any Arab state union, the flag of the United Arab Republic was readopted to show Syria's commitment to Arab unity. The usage of the flag has become disputed because it's often associated with the Ba'ath or Renaissance party and has come to represent parties loyal to Assad's government in the Syrian civil war. The second flag used by Syrians today is the Syrian interim government's flag. The flag is a modified version of the independence flag first used in 1932 and adopted by an independent Syria in 1946 and its design is quite similar to the Syrian Arab Republic's flag. Originally, the three red stars represented the three districts of Syria, but in 1936 another two districts were added to Syria, and the representation of the three stars was changed. The flag of the Lebanon is formed of two horizontal red stripes, above and below a horizontal white stripe, and the white stripe is said to be two times the width of the red ones. The green cedar in the middle touches each of the red stripes and its width is exactly a third of the flag. The cedar in the middle of the flag is directly inspired by the cedar in the mountains of the Lebanon and the cedar is a symbol of holiness, eternity and peace. Interestingly, the cedar of Lebanon appears in many historic and biblical references, appearing 77 times in the Bible. For the Lebanese, the cedar is a symbol of hope, freedom and memory. The white colour is said to represent snow as a symbol of purity and peace, and the two red stripes refer to the Lebanese bloodshed to preserve the country. The flag of Israel was adopted on October 28, 1948, five months after the establishment of the State of Israel. It depicts a blue hexagram on a white background between two horizontal blue stripes. The portrayal of the Star of David on the flag is a widely acknowledged symbol of the Jewish people and of Judaism. The blue stripes are intended to symbolise the stripes on the talat, the traditional Jewish prayer shawl. The ancient Israelites used a blue coloured dye, and this dye was actually important in Jewish and non-Jewish cultures of the time. It was used by royalty and the upper classes for dyeing their clothing, their sheets, their curtains and so forth. The Palestinian flag is based on the flag of the Arab Revolt and is used to represent the state of Palestine and the Palestinian people. The flag is a tricolour of three equal horizontal stripes of black, white and green overlaid by a red triangle from the hoist. Once again, these are the pan-Arab colours. The flag is almost identical to that of the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party and extremely similar to the flag of Jordan and the flag of Western Sahara which both draw their inspiration from the Arab Revolt against the Ottoman rule in 1916 and 1918. Prior to being the flag of the Palestinian people, it was the flag of the short-lived Arab Federation of Iraq and Jordan. The flag of Jordan, officially adopted on the 18th of April 1928, is based on the flag of the Arab Revolt against the Ottoman Empire during the First World War. The flag consists of a horizontal black, white and green bands, pan-Arab colours, that are connected by a red triangle. 
In addition to the bands and the triangle, a white star with seven points is featured on the high side of the triangle. The star stands for the unity of the Arab people, their faith in one God, humanity, humility, national spirit, virtue, social justice and aspiration. It has also been said to stand for the seven verses of the first surah of the Quran, or refer to the seven hills on which Amman the capital was built. The flag of Egypt was adopted in 1984 and has three equal horizontal bands of red, white and black, with the national emblem, a golden eagle of Saladin facing the hoist side with a shield in his chest above a scroll bearing the name of the country in Arabic centred in the white band. Red represents the struggle against British occupation of Egypt. White symbolises the advent of the 1952 revolution which ended the monarchy without bloodshed. Black stands for the end of oppression of the people of Egypt at the hands of the monarchy and the British colonialism. And the Eagle of Saladin is said to represent power and strength. And the flag is based on the United Arab Republic flags just like the Syrian flags. Hey there, if you like this video, please check out our other videos on other flags from around the world and make sure to share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.